Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is my first video of the series Finishing or Completing UFOs, Unfinished Objects. I know that you're probably like me, you start a project and maybe you get interrupted or you get inspired to do something else and so you put it aside and maybe it'll sit there for a while. Well, what I'm going to be doing in the next few months is pulling out these unfinished objects and doing a video on them. So what I have here is an accordion fold journal that I started several months ago. In fact, I know I have done a couple of lives where I showed how to make like this little booklet folio, adding the little charms on it, showing you how I add pockets to the front. I've done this flip up that has pockets and a journal in it. So what I'm just doing right now is just kind of basically showing you what is complete. So this has another little journal on it as well. But then on the other side of this page, I haven't completed it. So what I've done is I've just grabbed a few supplies that I thought I might want to use. And in this case, I've made a couple of pockets. I'm going to slide this up here just a little bit. So this is out of the way. So I paper clip them together when I have an idea. And so here was my thought was I've got this pocket that I thought could go here. And then I have another pocket. And then this is like a little envelope that I've added a little tag to. And I just thought that would be a neat little composition, if you will. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and glue down these pocket pieces. I'm just going to use Aline's Tacky Glue. The pocket pieces, this one that's in my hand, is a book page where I have mopped up a stencil and that was my little dot stencil kind of getting that far enough away from where my spine is then this one is a gel print that i have added little tabs to make a pocket and i want them to overlap just a smidge i just noticed that this piece doesn't really have anything on the inside so i'm going to grab a scrap of paper here get my stuff out of the way and let's find a rubber stamp that'll work in there. I have a new little stamp that I made. They're little hearts. I'm going to stamp it on my scrap in the background. Okay, I like that. So I want to be able to stamp it where it comes all the way up. So I'm going to find a scrap of paper or two that I can use. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to overlap this just a little bit. So here's what you can do if you've already glued something shut and you want to be able to stamp in it. I'm just basically making a paper mask and I'll stamp this a couple of times. So now when I move away all my pieces of paper, it has hearts coming out of it. Isn't that pretty cute? Okay, now we need to see if I have a little something that I can put on top of that and I found this butterfly so I'm thinking maybe something like this so let's put this down just a little bit yeah so I'm going to glue this on two sides so it can be a tuck spot if we want to put something else behind it and then I'll add this little butterfly here that's looking good I have this postcard, it was an oversized postcard that I cut up and I found this scrap of paper and it just so happened it's the same width. So I thought what we could do is glue that down on here. It's funny, these are political ads that I get in the mail and some of them I know the people and some of them I don't, so it's kind of weird to look at them. All right, so I'm just gonna add some Fabri-Tac glue because this is a glossy paper and sometimes Aline's doesn't like to stick to glossy paper. I'm just using a small bead. And then this was just scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. So I'll just line this up. Use my bone folder to smooth it out. And then I have from a book page, I think it will fit. 
It does. It fits right over here. So I'm going to turn it to where it's straight edge. Okay, I like that. So what I'm going to do is fold this up. But I think what I need to do is you can still see behind it. Is that okay? I don't know. I think what I want to do is I'm going to try something different. I'm going to stamp on the back side. I'm going to see if this makes a difference. So this is my leaves and berry stamp. And I'm just going to stamp it all over. My thinking is that it will obscure a little bit of the underneath so you don't see it as much. It's just faint. You can slightly see it. I am going to trim this just a smidge. And I guess I could go ahead and trim it to fit so I don't have to try to do it after the fact. So this is three and a half inches. I'll just trim that at three and a half. And we'll glue this in place. And then this will go over that. All right, so put down some more of the Fabri-Tac. I'll glue this piece. Well, before I glue it down, I want to put some Distress Ink on the edge. And then I'm going to flip this over and press it into place. So we have this nice little header at the top. And you can barely see the text underneath, so you know that it was something else beforehand. But it's not like you can really read it. I'll go ahead and add some Distress Inks to the edges. <clears throat> okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to go to the sewing machine. And I want to stitch all the way around this outside edge. Because I like the way that looks. You don't have to do it. Just something that I like to do. I have a regular sewing machine. I have it set up with regular black thread in the upper and in the lower. A regular needle. And I've got it set for zigzag. Basically, what I will tell you if you're using your sewing machine is to keep it clean. Do not sew over wet glued paper because it'll just gum right up. And try to use relatively new thread. Sometimes that thread that you've had for 20 years in your stash is brittle and it'll break. So save yourself some frustration and get some newer thread. All right, so I'm just going to stitch around this. When I get to the corner, I'll leave my needle down and raise my presser foot and then swing this around and then I can continue on down the other side. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stitched all the way around. Now what I want to do is add some more decoration to it. I have a fussy cut element. I do not know where it came from, but I thought I might use that. And I saw, here it is. I knew I saw a little bit of some music, so I think I'm just going to rip a piece of it to kind of make a little collage. So let's add some Distress Inks around the edge of that. I have a hymnal that was given to me that had been found in the mud. So it was really dirty. I took it all apart. I cleaned the pages as best I could, but it gives a nice distressed look to it. I think something like that will work. So I'm going to glue those together. Smooth that out with my bone folder. <clears throat> I think now I need a sentiment or something I can put on here. I have some that I've already stamped out. How about the, oh, I should show you this. So these are some little pouches that I found on Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description box for you. And then I cut cards to be five by seven. And I put a little piece of transparency film acetate across the bottom here. And then I've just been poking things in it so that when I'm ready to have a sentiment, I can find one of these and use it. And I kind of like that, be fearless. And I need something over here. You know, I think we're going to put romantic. Some of these are smaller, so I put them in a little zipper bag so that I could get them easier. What if we put something like that? Maybe with a little piece of fabric. Put these back in here so I can find them again. I have a little bit of this purple. 
I'm thinking a little piece of this. Something like that. And we'll do something different with this one. I've got a blue that I dyed. I don't know if it's wide enough. It kind of sticks out, so what I could do is move it to where it kind of sticks out below. So what if we did something like that? Okay, so let's glue these together. And then we'll glue this one down. I like gluing it to the back side just a little bit to kind of get the position that I want. And then I'll come back in and add more glue to stick down the whole thing. Well, I'm doing this as a live premiere. I forgot to say that at the beginning. So if you are watching this when I uh, premiered this, do speak up in the chat. Love to hear from you. Hope you are having an amazing day. I am on vacation and will return next week. And so I did this video because I thought it would be kind of fun for y'all. Okay, so let's put something on the back. I've got a new stamp and I forgot the name of it. I didn't put it on my sheet, but I'll have it in the description box. It's a new little flower stamp and I haven't even used it yet, so I better stamp it on a scrap of paper. Okay, I like it. It's kind of a silhouette. I, I can't remember if I did flower silhouette, but I thought it would be kind of pretty to add to the edge of a card or a page and I've got another word stamp set and I can't remember it but it's got be extraordinary be yourself find a passion be true to who you are it's got four different sayings and let's put that right here yeah there we go so now we've got a little bit of a decorated card that can go in this pocket here. I have a couple more things. I have a library card and I don't know if I put this card down far enough or the pocket I mean. I can't quite tell. It won't. All right. Well, maybe we'll put that one in here. And I've got this out, but I think it's too big as well. But I know I saw some more littler cards. That would be good in there. Well, that's too wide, so I'm just going to trim it just a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. Add some distress inks back to it. Now, what do I want to put on it? I thought I saw some papers here. <clears throat> I put my scraps into a Ziploc bag so I can pull them out when I need them. Maybe those two pieces would work. What if we to put that across the top? Maybe put this in the middle and then do a stamped sentiment on top of it. I don't know if this one's too big. Today is full of possibilities. I kind of like that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll line these all up with the edge. And then let's add some distress inks to those edges. What's everybody doing today? I am on vacation. It's my husband and I's, uh, our 31st wedding anniversary. And Henry booked a cruise vacation a long time ago. And <clears throat> we decided to go ahead and just go, even though we just came back from another cruise. But, uh, you know, sometimes that's what we do. <laughs> we are slow in January in our daytime regular business. And so usually we know we can get away for a couple of weeks or a week at least. 
and not cause too much disruption in our business. All right, so I'll glue that there at the top. And then I'll glue this piece down. These were, uh, it looks like one's a gel print, and this may be where I mopped up some paint by using my brayer off and brayered off onto it. I had to do the, you know, brayer off onto it. <laughs> Today is full of possibilities. I have another new little stamp set and it's called a bunny, little bunny and flower. So it's got a bunny and flowers. And I think I just want to use the flowers right here. Although we could go ahead and stamp the bunny. Why not? I think I left room, but now he's going the wrong direction. So never mind. I should have stamped it on the other side, but that's kind of cute. So I'll pop that in here. I don't know if I want to use this card as well. It'd be shorter. I still have another piece of this purple. So how about if we go ahead and put that on here. And maybe another sentiment. Let's see what I've got here. How about this one? It says memories. So I'll add some distress inks to those. I haven't decided what I want to do for next Monday. I may get out some little projects to create elements to go in a journal. I have a bunch of tutorials. I hope that y'all are watching and enjoying. I've got the February challenge. I can't remember what date this is today, but the February challenge will post the last day of January. Okay, I like that. So then this will go right here like that. So even though this one kind of covers everything up, when you pull it out, you've got all those layers. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's slide this over. This is a journal that I made, and then I made a little pocket, and then this flips up. And I've grabbed a napkin, so I wasn't sure how I was gonna use it. And I've got this corner piece, and this is from the Apothecary Garden Journal from Calico Collage. I think I'll go ahead and just glue down this corner pocket piece. And maybe we'll make a quick journal card with that napkin. Or maybe some stationery. I was thinking about making some pretty little stationery. All right, so that's going to go in here. So I'm going to push this up out of the way for a moment. I have some rather thin coffee dyed paper. So I'm thinking maybe what I should do to make it a little bit sturdier is fold it in half and glue it together. And then I can just trim it down to whatever I need. I think that's what I'm going to do. I hate to cut off. Let me see how deep that is. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut off a sliver about an inch. And I already folded it, but I'm going to refold it. And then I think I want it shorter, so I'll cut off about an inch. So then this, in theory, should fit down inside there. Okay. First, I'm going to glue this together. Let's add some distress inks to the edges. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to glue a piece of this napkin. I'm looking to see which piece I want. I think I'll glue it down this side here. And maybe what I'll do is tear it. So let me see if this is going to be long enough. So if I come right up here, I could do it this way. Yeah, that'll work better. Okay. I don't know if I've got, if this is dried out or not. I haven't used it in a while. See if my glue pot has any glue in it. Oh, that's pretty dried out. Yep, that one's almost dried out too. I'm going to have to soak those in some water to see if I can reactivate them or at least clean them out. So we'll put down a little bit of some Aline's Tacky Glue. And I've got a paintbrush, so I'm going to get it wet. I just want it a little bit damp, and then I'm just going to 
smooth out that glue a little bit and then lay this across like that. Clean out my brush. Well, apparently my my little jar is out of water. Okay, so I'm going to trim off this excess napkin. Get my big scissors. I've got my flax flowers, so I'm going to stamp those. Oh, I like that. I just happened to stamp this as a new rubber stamp. It's called Junk Journal, and it's just on a scrap of a book page that I cut off. So it's rather thin, but I'm going to add a little distress inks to it. And what if we put that across here? Okay, I like that. I didn't put anything on the back side yet, so let's find a little something. This one I think is called Vines with Vine with Curls. So maybe what we'll do is stamp it coming in from the edge and then coming down this way. So it kind of gives it a little corner. I like that. You like it? Let me know in the comments below if you like it or in the chat. All right, so this piece will go in here like so. So we've created some additional writing space and we've got a little journal card there and then this piece has more giant uh, journaling space here as well as there. All right so let's flip this over. So here I don't have any pockets or anything so I got out a whole pile of stuff trying to decide what I wanted to do. For example, I have this piece of scrapbook paper. I have a book page that I thought if I covered it with paper, then I could attach it here so that this flipped out like that. I don't think it needs to flip out that far. It's rather thin. So I think what I'm going to do is glue this together. I was going to make it a pocket, but I think unless I glue everything on the outside of it, that'll make it sturdier so it could be a top load pocket. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to glue this piece down. I'll go ahead and cut this off. So basically this piece will be right here and then it'll flip over and we'll have some other paper on the other side and then it'll be a top load pocket. So I'll go ahead and glue across the bottom and this side. Okay, so if this piece is going to go here, it flips over. What do I want to put on the back side? Oh, I have a calico collage image and that fits almost perfectly. All right, I'm going to take this little strip and glue it down where this flap will be. And then that way it'll be sturdier for flipping back and forth. Was I smart? I would have left it on there, but this works out. All right, so I'm going to glue this piece down. All right, so I want to make sure I've got this right side up because this is going to be my opening up here and I'll glue this piece down on top. have an idea and I don't know if it's going to work. I thought if I put this in the fold, so basically you'd flip it over and then you'd have this piece and this piece that would flip over. So my thoughts were to line that up here in the center 
and then stitch it in a couple of places. So I'm going to paper clip it to hold it in place. And then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and just do a straight stitch. Okay, I dropped my paper clip. Get it later. And I'll just do a couple of stitches in three spots. It's just another way to attach items. All right, so I've set it to a straight stitch and I'm going to make it a little bit longer and start at the top and make a couple of stitches and then I'll scroll, come down just a little bit to the halfway point ish make a couple more stitches and then come to the bottom and make a few more stitches so in theory this will be glued down here and then it'll flip over and then you'll have writing space here and here or collage or whatever all right so let's add a little something to this page i know i have some fussy cut elements i was trying to see if i already had some out but i don't i have some fussy cut elements to see this little scrap of paper so I was thinking maybe oh you know what I made some clusters the other day maybe I'll use one of those well that works out better okay I'll put that one down so it could be a tuck spot if you wanted so I'll glue down the edge here and across the top that looks good and then we'll flip this over. You know what? I've got an altered paper clip that I made. And I think I'll put that right here. So on this side, let me find a journal card to put in there. Maybe something like this. And then I had a little piece of music and one of Norella's butterfly Polaroid images. I think that would look good right there. So I'm going to distress ink the sheet music piece and put that down. This was some dyed paper that I made. I think it was avocado dye. It came out a really pretty shade of pink. I don't have very many pages left. I need to save some more avocado skin so I can make some more. How about this is my story. Oh, that fits right there. So let's add some distress inks to it. I can get a hold of it. Okay, so glue that down. All right, so since I didn't get to stamp the bunny earlier, I'm going to stamp the bunny and add the little flowers so you can see what that looks like. So there's the little cute bunny and then a little bit of flowers. And we put this altered paper clip on here, but we didn't put anything else. So maybe. Oh, you know what? I have this other cute set of bunnies. It's bunnies in pots. It's a whole bunch of little bunnies. They're super cute. I haven't stamped it yet, so I better stamp it on a scrap to make sure I've got it ready to go. It's a little bumpy, so I'm going to open that up. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Figure with spring and Easter around the corner, it'd be cute to have those little bunnies and pots all right so now I just need something on this front side and I'm going to add a little bit more distress ink along this edge because you can kind of see it I didn't get it perfectly folded but that's okay and I have this little pocket that I made out of a napkin and so I'm thinking Maybe putting that right here. So let's glue that into place. I didn't know that my video camera had stopped working. So I'm going to recap what I did. I put down the pocket and added a fussy cut dragonfly from Calico Collage. This is a rubber stamped image that is on coffee dyed paper. One of Norella's background papers. I had the word vintage stamped onto a scrap of coffee dyed 
book page. This was the edge. And then I have this long skinny journal card from the Amarillo Rose kit. And then I stamped this postcard. I have a new stamp set. You can get it as one stamp that has the postcard and the line and they're close together. You can get it as the postcard and the line going up and down is one stamp or you can get two stamps, the postcard and that stamp. So I just thought it would be kind of handy to have. I went ahead and glued down my strip here. So if you look on the inside, here's our elements that we've added. And then over here, I had this piece that I had started when I showed how to make altered paper clips, and I glued it to a painted book page. And my thought was to glue it down here as a corner tuck spot. So I'll go ahead and glue that into place. I haven't put anything in this pocket yet, so let me look to see if I have something that would work. I have some of these oversized postcards, so I think what I want to do is cut it down. First, I think I want to cut it to be 8 inches tall, and then probably 5 inches wide. Let's see if that works. I may not have enough give for this to go in here, but we'll see. Okay, so that'll go in there. And I got some coffee dyed paper here. That one looks like it's thick enough that you can't see behind. So let's see if this one, that looks pretty good too. So I got two coffee dyed pieces here. So I'll grab my Fabri-Tac glue. I'm trying to decide which piece I liked better. I think I like this side better. So I'm just going to glue this down. And I'll go ahead and cut off that excess. And then let's glue down this piece. I kind of like that darker edge, so I think I want to use that. Let's cut off the excess here. And I'm thinking of folding this over and making that a simple little tuck spot. So I'll add some Distress Ink here. This piece is rather thin, so I've got a book page. And what I'll do is glue it across here. So I'll give it a little bit more strength so it won't rip. And I'll put a little bit of glue on ends and fold this over. Okay. And I know I saw a punch that I want to use. I found a piece of painted book page. So I'm going to feed that in here. Get my large acrylic block and punch this. Fold that in half and add some Distress Inks to it. And I thought I would glue this across the top. That looks pretty good. Let's add some Distress Inks all the way around the edges. I think I'm gonna do some stenciling. I haven't done any stenciling this session. So let's get out a stencil. I think this is the uh, Bella Rose stencil. <clears throat> and I think I want to use Seedless Preserves. What do you think so far? Do you like the little ideas that I've shared with you today? Will this inspire you to get those unfinished objects and get them out and complete them? Oh, I like that. It's just a subtle pattern. I'll do it on this side as well. There we go. Put things away. Okay, I like that. So maybe we need a little something to go in the pocket here. Had a couple of Norella's journal cards that I thought would look good in there. And then maybe on this side, we've got some fussy cut elements that I just saw. Maybe this little rose would be pretty. I've got a little scrap of music. So what if we put that right here in the corner? I like it.
it was kind of fun just to spend a little bit of time sorry about the computer glitch i guess my computer decided that it didn't want to record anymore but i got it going i'll do a flip through of the whole journal so you can see all the elements as soon as i finish adding this component How about the word hope? So then this piece, which apparently doesn't want to hold my card. So I'm thinking, I saw a paper clip a little while ago that was a spiral paper clip. I don't know if I still have it. Here we go. Because I can slip that on here and it's not bulky and it doesn't stick out past the page but it'll keep those in there together i could stitch down the side here maybe i'll do that why not let's stitch this real fast okay i like the adding of the stitches across there and then that holds that in place and then this will pop down into my pocket and the tab will stick out the top all right so let's let's pretend we're starting this journal and as we go through it if i see something else that i need to do i'll have the time to go through it all right so here's the front of my journal and it is a tie with fabric looks like i've got some rogue threads I need to get rid of there is a pocket on the front with a journal insert has a little tuck spot there I just used a bunch of leftover bits and pieces for this another little tuck spot here you can add something to the back of that and then there's a little charm and then this goes in the pocket and then you flip this over and we have a large journal card here that is one of those oversized postcards that I've collaged on top of and added a large index card to the back that I stamped over that goes in this pocket I have an altered paper clip here that's holding an apothecary journal card over here is a clear acetate pocket this is one of the challenges that i had in the friendly junk journal people facebook group so i have a tutorial that shows you how to make that pocket and then this is just a little journal simple nothing super fancy just ready for you to embellish that goes in here and then this flips up and in this case i put the pocket at the top this way i don't know i did it differently on each one and then this was an altered paper clip I made, scrapbook paper that I embellished just a little bit. And that goes in here. And I had this little paper clip to help hold it so that it didn't fall out when you flipped it over. Down here is a pocket that I made out of a book page. And here's a little collage journal card that I made with some coffee dyed paper on the back. I think this was made during one of my live streams a while back. Okay. And then this flips over. Over here we've got a little fold over. So this has a magnet. So that is magnetic. And this was some wallpaper. This is a scrap from Norella's kits. And then I used some coffee dyed paper on the inside. The back side, I had another little scrap from a book page and some scrapbook paper. That goes right in here. I had another over, large journal card of scrapbook paper, and I just added a little touch, a little pocket there. And then this goes in here. And then I added another little cluster on top of a book page and a painted page. And then I made this tall, skinny, you can call it a tag, you can call it a bookmark. 
this page over here is scrapbook paper and then this is some of Norella's elements I made a little skinny bookmark out of a scrap of paper I had and then these are my tiny postcard and tiny library card this was some watercolor paper that I made little blobs on or rectangles and squares and I just kind of used them here and there and I did some stenciling up there added a little bit of some ruffle onto this piece this is a pocket up here so in it I have a altered paper clip holding a journal card onto a stencil piece of scrapbook paper and this pops back in here and then this flips over on this side I have another altered paper clip and then I have an oversized index card that I've added a strip of paper stamped in one of Norello's fussy cuts and then the stamp my thoughts linger here here in the middle is another little pocket that I made out of some gel prints and one of Norella's images some of Norella's images there and then this goes in here this flips back that way and then we come to the back of the journal so we get the tie out of the way in the back we have a pocket there's a journal card with a pocket on top of it or tuck spot use that same punch on some punch card and has stenciled and did a rubber stamp in one of Norella's images on the inside the back side is blank goes in here and this is a pocket here so it's another one of my watercolor papers that I made a little blob and then I stamped on top of it it's got some cheesecloth Robin's favorite I know and then flip this over and this is the pockets that we did today so I added these journal cards stamp those and then we've got the library card and a journal card that I made Trying to make sure I don't get it all folded up and then this was a little envelope that I made a while back one of Norella's images this was some avocado dyed paper another one of these little journal cards or journals in a pocket and then this flips up and I put the pocket this way this time I don't know why I did them different another one of Norella's fussy cuts I think that was from the Amarillo Rose and then this was some cardstock that I had and I mopped up a stencil on it and did a collage with some of Norella's images here some book page and the rubber stamped image here I added the apothecary garden corner and a journal card and then I made a piece of stationery if you will it is a copy dye paper that was really thin so I folded it in half did some rubber stamping on it I guess we could add another embellishment on there let me see what I've got what if we were to stick that down right there I like that so put a little glue on here like so and then put that back down in here this on top and then this flips over and we today we added this element which is the pocket on top of some scrapbook paper I made a journal card and apparently my paper clip didn't work the way I thought it should so I may need to do some adjustments so if I put it this way maybe it'll be better there we go and then this flips over and I didn't put anything on this side we could we could add another pocket maybe uh, avocado dyed paper that I added so you can have some additional writing space with an altered paper clip on here I don't have anything in this pocket 
so maybe I'll do something later you know it's not finished finished but I think it's finished enough today <laughs> then I had another little insert that I made so this was using some scrapbook paper and some chipboard I believe is in here and I had some mop-up papers coffee dyed paper another one of those napkin cover little pockets some more tattered angels dyed paper that I stamped making this little folio and that goes into this larger pocket and then you come back to the beginning so we've got little charms hanging out and then we've got the tie but I call this complete I think this one is complete. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing me complete a project that is an unfinished object that I've had in my stash for a little while. I've got more of these that will be coming, so be on the lookout for those. Hey, come back when I'm live next Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to have your comments about what you liked about this video today. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask. If you have suggestions of things you want me to do in the future, please feel free to make those suggestions as well. Alrighty, I think that is all that I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a fabulous week. Take care, have lots of fun, do something creative today and this week, and share a little bit of kindness with someone around you. All right, everybody, take care. Bye.